Hi, welcome to Ridgeview Kids Club. This is Miss Sharon and Scruffy. We are so glad to see you today, aren't we? Well, we've had quite a week, didn't we, Scruffy? We had some crazy weather, huh? What did it do this week, Scruffy? Yes, we had a lot of rain, didn't we? And what else did we have up in the mountains back there? What do you see, Scruffy? Snow, yep, there's still some snow on the mountains, isn't there? Yes. Well, we had some really crazy rainstorms and it was super windy and all that stuff. Do you like storms, Scruffy? No. Why not? You don't want to get wet. What else? It's scary, huh? You you kind of hide during storms, don't you? What What don't you like about them? Oh, you don't like the wind, do you? And what else? You can't play outside, right? You don't like that, do you? What about, do you like thunder and lightning? What do you do when there's thunder and lightning? Do you hide? Yes, you do, don't you? Well, something really cool happened after a really awful rainstorm we had one day this week. We went on a walk because the rain started to clear and what did we see in the sky, Scruffy? A rainbow, right? We saw a beautiful rainbow. In fact, there are some pictures right now of our rainbow that we saw this week, right? It was so beautiful. Well, do you know when the first rainbow appeared, Scruffy? Yes, in the Bible. And who saw it? Noah and his family, right? Okay, well, there was a super horrible rainstorm, much worse than what we had this week. And after that rainstorm, God had saved Noah and his family from that terrible rainstorm that happened for 40 days and 40 nights. And they were on an ark with all the animals. And after that rainstorm and Noah and his family and the animals came off the ark, God put a rainbow in the sky, didn't he? Okay, well, let's read what it says in Genesis 9, and 12, 9, 12 and 13. It says, then God said, I am giving you a sign of my covenant with you and with all living creatures for all generations to come. I have placed my rainbow in the clouds. It's the sign of my covenant with you and with all the earth. Okay, Scruffy, do you have a question for me? Yes, what's a covenant? Good question, okay? So a covenant is a promise. So God gave Noah and his family a promise. And, and that promise was not just for them, but it said for all living creatures, for all generations to come. So that means for everyone who would ever live, right? And that promise is that God would keep his promises, okay? And the rainbow is a sign to us that God keeps his promises. And so rainbows are beautiful, aren't they, Scruffy? And a lot of times, um, those rainbows can um, are really wonderful to see after a storm, right? Because it's bright and beautiful and colorful. But um, do you like storms, Scruffy? No. Okay. Why don't you like storms? They're dark and scary, right? And what else? You, you can't play outside, can you? Do you like thunder and lightning? No. Okay, what do you do when there's thunder and lightning? Do you hide, Scruffy? You do, okay? So storms can be really scary. In fact, storms that we have, um, like the weather, when we get storms, it reminds me of when we go through difficult times in our life because we, during the middle of a storm or a difficult time in our lives, we can't see the sun, can we? And sometimes we get scared, right? And sometimes we feel like hiding, right? And it can be a really dark and scary time for us when we're going through difficult times. And sometimes we might think that maybe God's not there and he can't hear us. Sometimes we get scared during those storms when we are going through difficult times. So this, the weather this week reminded me that there are a lot of people going through difficult things right now, huh, Scruffy? So what are some of the things that people are going through right now? Maybe they've been sick, right? We have some friends that are sick right now with COVID, right? And so some people have been sick and other people have been lonely, right? What else? People have been sad, okay? 
Maybe they're going through a difficult time with their job and things like that. So there's a lot of people going through difficult things, right? And so a lot of people are going through storms and difficult times in their life. But um, the rainbow that we saw this week reminded me that God is always with us, right, Scruffy? Okay, so what does it take for a rainbow to happen? So we need what? Rain. And what else? Clouds, right? Is that all we need, Scruffy? What else do we need? Light, right? We need light. Now this week when we saw that beautiful rainbow, the light came from where? The sun, okay? Right? So thinking about that rainbow that we saw this week, it reminded me that the storm and the rain and the clouds, that reminds me of all the difficult times and things that we're going through. But the light that came out and made this beautiful rainbow out of that stormy day reminded me of who? Do you know who, Scruffy? God, yes, okay? And in the Bible, it talks about how God is light and Jesus is the light of the world. And so that um, rainbow, rainbows have to have light, right? And so that rainbow that we saw this week reminded me that even in the midst of a really stormy and cloudy day, God can make something beautiful out of it, right? And so when we have those difficult times in our life, we need to trust that God is with us and remember that he keeps his promises, right? And after the storm will come a rainbow and we will see and remember that God is with us and the way we can trust in him, right? And so um, the rainbow reminds us that God is always with us, right, Scruffy? And that even when we're going through difficult times, is it always gonna be difficult? No, God will help us through it, right, Scruffy? That storm will end, right, Scruffy? Okay, and there's a verse in the Bible that I wanted to remind us of this week, and it says, it's in Romans 8, 28, and it says, all things work together for good to those that love God and are called according to his purpose. And so even our difficult times that we're going through, God can work those out and make beautiful things out of those difficult times because we can learn things and we can grow and we can grow closer to God and during those difficult times in our lives and remember that after the storm the rainbow comes right and even though we cannot see the Sun on a rainy and cloudy day is the Sun still there yes okay just like when we're in the midst of a difficult time, we may not remember that God is with us, but is God always with us, Scruffy? He is. It says in the Bible that he will never leave us or forsake us. So God is always with us, even when we can't see him, right? Even when we can't feel him, right, Scruffy? And that when we go through those difficult times, God will help us through them, right? And he will also shine his light and bring that rainbow after those difficult times, right, Scruffy? Okay, well, what do you think we should do about this, Scruffy? Yes, I think we should pray and help God to remind us to trust in him, even when we're going through those difficult times, because he's going to make something good come out of that, isn't he? Okay, well, let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for your amazing love and how you always are with us, even when we can't see you. And Lord, I pray that you would help us to trust you, even when we're going through difficult times, and it may not feel like you're with us, Lord. Help us to know that you are always with us and that you will never leave us or forsake us and that you promise that you will um, always be with us and that we can trust in your promises, Lord, because you keep your promises and you don't change. You stay the same and you will always be with us and you will always help us, Lord. Um, thank you that you make um, all things work together for good for those that love you and are called according to your purpose and help us to grow in our faith and in our trust of you. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, you know what, Scruffy? Talking about rainbows and all that kind of stuff. Did that make you hungry? Okay, what do you see over there? Candy. You see that colorful candy? Mm. Do you see what piece you want to eat? Okay, well, we're going to go have a snack. Have a great day, and I hope you guys have, um, hope to see you guys all next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.